But a cool part of the scene is the ethics of deep space exile. And so there's, there's historically when people were exiled, if you were in a small group, if you were like just you by yourself, like that's pretty much a death sentence. Like you get sent out okay. to the force somewhere, unless you already know how to survive by yourself, then, then you're in, you're in trouble. And so I think that's what they were doing here, where where Khan was exiled by with his people, and they're effectively effectively Starfleet saying like we don't want to kill people, we're just going to throw you out into space. But mm -hmm. that's really different. Who the hell are you? A remnant of the time long past, genetically engineered to be superior, to lead others to peace in a world at war. We were condemned as criminals, forced into exile for centuries. We slept. But as a result of the destruction of Vulcan, your Starfleet began to aggressively search distant quadrants of space. My ship was found adrift. So two things in here, but let's get them one at a time. So Khan and his people were genetically engineered because they were supposed to lead humanity to a brighter future. Um, but for whatever reason, not explained in this movie, they were deemed as to be bad people and they're like mm -hmm. thrown away from the earth. Okay, so my thoughts are, what are the ethics of this? Because... Because if you, in the olden days, in the 1400s or three, I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, like, like if you throw one person out of the village, that's pretty much a death sentence. Because uh -huh. unless they already know how to do survival skills, then they're not going to be able to get shelter. They're not going to be able to find food. They're not going to be able to build a civilization themselves. If you sent out a group of people, and so, so you've effectively killed them, but in a way that doesn't feel bad for you, but you effectively killed them. If you right. send out a group of people that's like... 40, 40 or so people, you exile them as a group, that, that group of people might stand a chance of building a new civilization. They build up their own colony. So you haven't, you haven't killed them, but you've just said, like, don't be here. Like, we don't want you around. Right? And then on, on the larger scale, if you were to exile like 10,000 people overnight, like that's pretty much a death sentence for a good chunk of them because no way are they going to be able to have that support structure, the, the infrastructure in order to feed and, and house and clothe all those people immediately. Right? Okay, but that's all. Be that's 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 the, I guess the rules, like the the overall idea of, of exiling people that actually live in the moment. When you exile people that are frozen in pods, you're effectively just throwing them into space, and and who knows what happens to them. And so, if they're never woken up again, or they crash on a planet, or their freezers break, you've effectively killed them without killing them so you don't feel it but but you really did um even, even if they do wake up you've now thrown them into a future in which case they're like what is this world that i've been around like i i see that i'm no longer in the same world as all the people that i grew up with but also i went to sleep and woke up like i didn't feel any exile like i just i'm in a different place and then there's also the issue of if, if Khan and his people were found drifting in space, but what if they had landed on an alien planet and then endeared themselves to the Incarn, endeared themselves to the people, and then came back to Earth to, to seek vengeance? For example, as what is happening here, and so it's a uh, yeah, it's interesting choice by Starfleet to effectively kill people in space, hmm. but maybe not with a risk that they come back. If, weird ethics. Yeah, why not? freeze them but leave them in a warehouse on earth so i think the reason they don't do that is because it now feels like i'm imprisoning someone and i'm like reminded of their body there that they're frozen and that i'm a bad person so you you throw them away you throw them out of the space you'd be like not my problem done so then it becomes a matter of record keeping at that point because if you jettison the frozen people in a ship out into space adrift well you can track that trajectory pretty straightforwardly. And yeah. so when Starfleet levels up its game to be like, okay, we are no longer in the fear mode. We're more ethically directed. Mm -hmm. Let's go get the ship because we know where it is because we know the trajectory we sent it out on. So get it, bring it back. We can either warehouse them or unfreeze them and deal with their immorality pretty easily. Um, but instead they leave them drifting yeah that's weird it's weird it's a weird forever punishment that the person doesn't feel until they're unfrozen because if if they just die in the frozen thing well their non-existence continues right if they wake up they don't feel any of the effects of 
being in exile for 200 years because they didn't experience it. Right. So there's no like, I don't know, mental problems because of that. There's essentially no punishment. Plus he has all his friends. <laughs> That's right. And as long as you have your friends, isn't that all that matters? That's all that matters. Friends. Right. Friends, friends forever. Yeah, weird scene. Yeah. Oh, but the good thing about this is right at the end, Khan says, because of the attack on Vulcan, Starfleet is now aggressively expanding out to space. Mm -hmm. And so is this why is this why the Enterprise goes on a five year mission? Because five year mission is is weird thing, right? It's like we don't right. send ships out like that. But maybe because Vulcan was attacked by Nero in the first movie, then then Starfleet's like, we need to know. We need to know what's out there. Mm -hmm. So expand aggressively. Maybe that's also why Starfleet's so weak, why Starfleet has so few ships. Because stuff is out. Stuff is out into space. Hmm. Oh. But as a result of the destruction of Vulcan, your Starfleet began to aggressively search distant quadrants of space. My ship was found adrift. Neat. I mean, this is kind of maybe in the original series. They're like, we're going to do the five year mission for exploration purposes. And secondarily, we get to learn what's out there, maybe get some new tech. There'll be some military applications. Maybe in the Kelvin mm -hmm. timeline with the fear, the primary one is military and tech and secondarily exploration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I can see that. It makes sense to me. I mean, they're all similar in vain, similar, but yeah. different motivation. 